The Darren Sammy Cricket Ground is on the verge of hosting its first fixture of the 2024 International Cricket Council T20 World Cup being played in the Caribbean and the United States of America. Minister for Youth Development and Sports, the Honorable Kenson Casimir, led a delegation that included members of the local media on a tour of the upgraded Darren Sami Cricket Ground. The lighting has been state of the art. We've shifted from, you know, those fossil fuel lit lights and we are now moving, we've moved to LED lights. And of course they are brighter, they are more focused in terms of areas on the pitch that we want lit. And uh, I'm very impressed with the lights and uh, some of the effects that we are going to get from the lights. In addition to that, um, the replay screen is something that I'm very impressed with as well. Uh, for the first time, we are electronic. We are all electronic in terms of the replays, in terms of the scoreboard. And that is another investment that we as a government had to put in, in terms of meeting the standards for ICC Cricket World Cup. And so I'm very happy with that. The dressing rooms, the change rooms, modern, modern locker rooms, and of course, they shift towards ensuring that we are able to uh, accommodate our women, our female cricketers, and to make it as gender neutral in terms of our facility. And I think the government have, they've definitely hit the nail on the head. And so I think we are very, very ready, except for the external works and the road works that are going on. I feel very ready to host a cricket event even this weekend. Minister Casimir was pleased with recent rains that enabled the outfield to be properly grassed. Darren Sami Cricket Grounds has been um, noted for being able to offer the bowlers the, the comfort of knowing if they bowl in the right directions, they can pick up wickets. And also the batsmen who apply themselves, they can definitely score heavy runs at the Darren Sami Cricket Grounds. So in terms of the, the external field, um, the outfield, uh, we did have concerns earlier when there was this drought on Ireland, but thankfully the rain has come in a timely fashion. And so we see in the field uh, better up to standard than what we initially thought. And so we're very close to what we want. It's not perfect, but we are definitely at a high standard here at Darren Sami. Australia will face Scotland in a Group B preliminary encounter in St. Lucia on June 15. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien.